Hi, welcome to Buzz, Indiana's Underground Business Voice. My name is Tony Selzo. We're here at the Bob Rainmakers International Headquarters. I've got Lottie Terry in from with Success Works from Bloomington, Indiana, right? That's right. Made the hike. Appreciate you doing that. Now, Success Works, a visionary. What uh, what is this visionary creativity leadership thing? What is that all about? What do, what do we what do you help people do? Well, you know, in a nutshell, mm -hmm. I help people unleash their own creative power. Okay, what does that mean? Well, what it means is, you know, we're all, think of it this way. You want to be a high performance driver sure. for a race car, yeah. okay? Mm -hmm. So what are you going to do? You're just going to hop in the car, or are you going to go in and get some training? Yeah, you get some training. Right. Yeah. And then, if you really want to be a top performance driver, you're going to really know your own limitations uh -huh. and your own strengths, sure. and you're going to leverage them. Okay. And that's what I help businesses and individuals do. Okay, and just give me an example of some of the ways that you've helped people do that in the past. Well, uh, most recently, I worked with a community organization uh -huh. that was looking to uh, finish up work on what was called Playscape. It was a multi-use playground that, that any level of abilities could use. Okay. And they really needed somebody that could uh, take their vision and expand upon it, create a nature and play area, uh, donor recognition. Okay. Uh, and, and I met with all the community groups that they pulled together for me, and mm -hmm. we came up with a final plan that they can now go out and, and market and sell to the, the council people. So they knew what they wanted as an end result. They had no way how to get there. Right. And you took them through a creative planning process. Is that fair enough? That yes. Okay. That, in that case, that that's true. It was that's one right. of the ways you accomplished right. I, that. That was a real, like, a facilitation. Okay, so you were you were pulling out of them the genius, not mm -hmm. necessarily presenting you as genius. Exactly. Is that a better way to say it? In that case, that's correct. Okay, so um, who needs this type of I mean I gotta imagine every business would need this but how do you choose where to spend your time we're always talking about niches and rainmakers right. we're always talking about know who your best fit client is because you can waste time and energy going after the wrong ones how do you figure that out well you know, I've been thinking about this Tony okay. because you know you've been preaching this to me for mm -hmm. quite a while yeah. so I've decided that I'm looking for a business that's been in business at least a year okay and they're on their growing edge and they want to get to their cutting edge okay. and I'm gonna take them there from growing edge to cutting edge I love that Okay, so so they, they figured out their business model, how to make money, but they maybe don't have the leverage to get to that next level. Right. Is that, a, is that a, right. is regurgitating what you're saying? Right, but also they don't necessarily know the creative strengths of the organization. When I say that, I mean, we all have different ways of thinking when they, we problem solve, uh -huh. different styles of creativity. And if you don't know those things to be able to put together the maximum team uh -huh. that's working to their strengths, you're not going to get to the cutting edge. So not only are you helping them facilitate through that process, but you're also maybe giving them a state of union on, on their own organizational DNA. Is that Absolutely. Awesome. That's okay. great. Okay, so you've got a couple special things coming up. And, uh, and one is this the, the thing you're doing out at Eagle Point, right? That's correct. Now, Talk to me about what that. What is that? What is the date and time, place? What are you going to accomplish there? How do I know if I'm a good fit for that? Okay. Well, first of all, I want to say that this uh, retreat series sure. is a product of a Rainmaker Power Circle. Okay. Awesome. Um, these are these are individuals that I have been developing a relationship with mm -hmm. for three years, maybe well, some yeah, of them. Yeah. Uh, and so we kind of come together and said, what are we all looking to achieve? Sure. Uh, Eagle Point wants more recognition for their their location and resort. Sure. Um, you know, Don Taylor and Associates is, is looking marketing, their sure. marketing company. And uh, John Drew and myself, um, we were looking for an opportunity to train and get our message out to the public. So that's why we came together. Okay. And, um, and what you can attain from coming to this session is, you know, what I said earlier about really getting in touch with your own creative power okay. and strategically thinking it through. So you're not going to just get there and come up with ideas, but you're actually going to take them through to completion. Okay. And this series is actually four retreats, and the very first one on February 12th. And 9 to 10 is kind of get there, mingle. Sure. And then the actual retreat is 10 to 5. And then afterwards is a networking session. Okay. And all of this is for one price uh, for Rainmakers. Oh, awesome. What and is that? $75 is the reduced price for wow. Rainmakers. Awesome. And if you bring a guest, there's $75. So there's too. four retreats for $75? No, no, $4. Dollars, $75 dollars a each. retreat. Okay. Right. Well, this is still a, a steal right. at that. How, how long do they last? 
And then it'll be a full day from, from a full day nine to five. You get lunch, you get food You're, in the morning, and you get goodies afterwards and a cash. And bar. they're walking out with a plan on right. how to get to advance their their exactly. business and their lives. Right. And the first session is really going to be focusing on your creative strengths. You know mm -hmm. how you you think, strategic thinking skills you mm -hmm. have, and also what style of creativity you are, and how that plays out. That's the morning, and in the afternoon we're going to apply all that, mm -hmm. and we're going to have you walk out with a plan on what the next step. Is going to be. And that's seventy five dollars. That's it. Wow. So it's at Eagle Point. It's it uh, sounds like a tremendous series. H how do I know if I'd be a good fit for attending that? Are you on the growing edge and want to be on the cutting edge? Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Enough said. So you um, now what? How did you get into this business, Lottie? How did you start down this path of realizing the power of creativity, not only in business but in people's lives? You want the truth? Yeah. Well, I was in a place, I was stuck in a job. Uh, it no longer was the job I wanted. I mm -hmm. needed to get out. Mm -hmm. And I remembered hearing about somebody talking about creativity, and I called the number on the card, and I said, I need help. Mm -hmm. And that's how I started my love affair with the whole field of creativity, mm -hmm. which is 60 years old. And you know what I can say is also, I wanted to be the best possible leader I could be. Mm -hmm. and, and, and creative leadership, our success leadership, as I coin it, mm -hmm. uh, was very important to me, and I can say this did the job. You know, I, uh, the the way I would think about this is that you know, if every person has been created different, uh, we all need to be managed, motivated, and led in different ways. And to me, one of the best uh, characteristics of great leaders is they lead you the way you want to be led, not the way they want to lead. And, and, and um, that, it, that's one of the hardest things I've found myself going through in taking this organization from, you know, 100 people that were a drinking group with a networking problem to now, you know, a 1,600-person organization that's going to other cities. It's really, it's that how do you get through that evolution? And most people want to take that, the, the initiative to get down that path. And I think experiences like what you guys are doing in, at, this, at, this, um, at your uh, re retreat is everything you need in order to get there. Right. So I commend you for doing that. What's the one last thing you would like to tell the Rainmakers out there? That um, this is Rainmakers, offering this to Rainmakers, because we passionately believe in, in Rainmakers and what we all do, and mm -hmm. we want to bring that out and, and give it to everyone else. So I appreciate you so much for saying that. How do they get a hold of you? Because they're so inspired by what you heard today that they want to get a ticket right now. Well, um, for right now, uh, I can give you a email address. Email would be great. Okay, so the email address is, uh, let's see here. I want to make it projectvisionary.com slash university. Project university project visionary, visionary uh, dot com dot com forward, forward slash, slash university. university. Okay, right. we both took a second to get that right. <laughs> Lottie Terry, you've been buzzed. I appreciate you so much.